I've spent most of my life in my mind in the future, thinking about where the world's going, how it could be, how it could change, how we could work to decrease our cost of living, whether it's our financial cost or our health cost, our education cost, or our transport cost, or our cost on our planet, or our personal cost on ourselves. All these costs should decrease, and as a result, our health increases. And so I've invested thousands of hours, millions of rands of time, and sometimes cash, in looking at the future and trying to help people change their perception of how things are so that they can live in a more beautiful and kind, abundant, generous, clean, environmentally friendly, low cost of living, high quality of life world. And I've written books on the subject. And I've spent the last few months looking at what I've done and I know and I can see the change that I've made, whether it's in my local community or whether it's in the wider world. And I'm thankful for that. And it's funny, even at 59 years old, I finally think now it's time for me to put time into what I'm really, really good at from an income generating point of view. And that's software development and solving software and process problems. I'm really good at that. And that's where I've made 99% of my profitable income in my life. And that's where I'm focusing now. So if you have a process problem that no one can solve, or you have a complicated problem, or you have an ambiguity problem, we have a prog a VUCA problem, volatile, all that stuff, changing, ambiguous problem in this world. And you can't solve the problem. Give me a call. Let me work on it. Let me look at it. Let me see if I can help you on your journey, which could take an hour or could take a week, could take a month. Could just be a necessary for me to look over your shoulder and say, have you looked at that? And I'm not scared of ambiguity. And I'm not scared of paradox. And I understand that we need to deal with all of these things so we can move forward in this world. And so we can find opportunities for ourselves, both now and in the future. By working on what is in front of us, we must also be constantly looking at where we're going tomorrow and the future. Just a little quick update on where I am. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And thanks for the kind and most incredible people over the past few months and years who have just phoned me or contacted me and said, David, how are you? And who want real answers. Not I'm okay, but I'm actually not okay. But thank you for asking because by you asking, you make me feel okay. And now in the past few weeks, I'm actually okay, really okay. And I know that there's strife and I know that there are problems and I know that there's even more people coming out of the woodwork and asking me for help. And I'm doing my best to provide guidance and to provide some kind of stepping stone because I can't provide you with an answer. I can only provide you with a step In Hebrew, it's Dargah, degree, or translated as step from a Kabbalistic point of view. And that step is the step that takes us in the right direction of where we need to go so we can get where we need to go. Because at the end of the day, it's the journey that we took in our lives that counts because often the destination is elusive and we can't find it, but we can journey together. Amen.